welcome to our morning vlog. So, so today is the day before we move. We actually move tomorrow, but um, this is our last day in this house. We're just doing the final bits like clearing up. Nick's just gone to do a tip run. Um, I am in the kitchen packing up the last bits of the kitchen. Um, so it's just a case of going around all the rooms and picking up the bits that we left out that we needed to use over the last week or so. Yeah, you got a bracelet on. Say hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, our plan today is, as I said, just to do the last minute cleaning bits, the last bits of packing. Um, I've only got until 3 p.m. because when the girls come back from school, we're heading to my mum's house. Rosie has gymnastics tonight, um, but then they're going to have a sleepover at my mum's. Yeah, and then my mum's going to take them to school in the morning. So. The removers are coming really early tomorrow at 7 a.m. So it just means that we can be ready to help with the move in the morning. But yeah, we're pretty much there now, feeling good. To be honest, it hasn't been that bad. Like, I don't think it's been that stressful at all. Um, I'm just sort of working my way through. I'm gonna put this one down for a nap in a minute. Are you gonna go down for a nap? Yeah? She's not keen. <laughs> but just so I can like really get clean in. Um, but yeah. That's it. So I don't know how much I'll be filming in this vlog. I'm just gonna try and pick my camera up as and when fits. Um, I will be filming an empty house tour as soon as we get the keys tomorrow, but I don't know what time that will be. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you with me and share the journey with you. Yeah. All packaged up and ready to go. Still have this to sort, <laughs> but we're getting there. Good afternoon, I am outside gymnastics now. Clearly I did not get a chance to do my hair today. I have been so busy. It's literally taken me all day just to sort the kitchen. So I've packed up the whole of the kitchen. I've cleaned all of the cupboards like inside and out. Honestly, the kitchen is so clean right now. Um, then I picked up the girls from school at three and we've driven straight to gymnastics. We're just sat in the car. I dropped Maeve and Ada at my mum's and Rosie is now in gymnastics and I've got about 45 minutes while she's in her lesson just to catch up on emails, do some work admin. Um, but yeah, I think we're nearly there with the move. Um, everything's packed up now. I've literally just got our bathroom to clean tonight after we use it. And yeah, that's it. We're pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna do the hoover the floors and mop ourselves out once all the boxes are removed. But yeah, we are pretty much there. I can't believe it. I showed you a little clip of our kitchen and all the boxes we've got stacked up. I'm just hoping that they're all be okay. Like some things like the kitchen boxes are just open. So I think we might have to put those in our car rather than give them to the removers just cause they might, you know, no one wants chutney rolling down the road. But apart from that, I think it's all coming together. Good morning. So moving day is here. The removers are here. We're moving all our boxes. This is downstairs. Um, they're just starting upstairs so then we can go upstairs and clean. Nick is just making us a coffee. Our last one in this house before we leave. How are you feeling, Nicholas? I'm fine, thank you. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> 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 ah, the lols. Anyway, um, yeah, we're just we're not doing anything at the moment. We're just staying out of the way so we don't get in the remover's way. Um, and then we're going to head upstairs and clean and get that all done so it's nice for the new owners. Shall we ask about this food? Because we could start putting that in our car if they don't want it. It is 10.30 here and most of our stuff is now gone. There's just stuff that's going in the car. The big pile that was here has now gone. All of upstairs is now clear so I'm just going to go up there and finish hoover and mopping. And then I'll give you a quick look around. Um, before we leave. It's so weird seeing the house completely empty. Obviously it's like never looked like this because we've done, we've redecorated each room one by one. So it's never all been all finished and empty at the same time. So I'm upstairs now. The whole of the upstairs is now clear. Ensuite is removed. Bedroom is clear. Nick's just hoovering the stairs. All the bedrooms are clear.
So we've just got downstairs to clean and then we're there. So the deal has been done. The keys have, oh, wow. They are kind of ready to be picked up. The deal's been done, the house is ours, but we're just waiting for the person whose house we're moving into to leave. So our house is now clear. I'm literally gonna mop myself out of the house and then we're gonna be homeless for a few hours because we're gonna let the people that are buying our house in just because it's not really fair to keep them waiting. Um, so they're gonna come in, we're gonna leave and then, um, oh, just turning off the light switch there, gonna go in buy some more cleaning supplies. The playroom's done. Living room's clear. And I'm literally just gonna mop ourselves out of the kitchen. So bye bye number 65. Utility is clear, honestly, this has never looked <laughs> this clear in its life. Okay, that is it, we have just mopped ourselves out of number 65. Um, and now we are going to leave the house. Um, and yeah, 10 years we've been in this house. And now we're leaving, so it's a little bit sad. But it's exciting. So we're just gonna head downtown now, get some more cleaning supplies, have some lunch, because it's 1.30 now. And yeah, but that's it, goodbye. Ooh. <laughs> Nick's just trying to uh, fill the car up. That is the end of life at number 65. Hello, excuse the state of me, but we've had a bit of a day. It's actually the next day now, so it's the day after moving day. And I had planned to film an empty house tour, but that did not go to plan. Basically, when we arrived at the property, um, the vendor was meant to leave at 1.30, but they weren't ready. So they said, come at three to collect the keys. So we came at three to collect the keys and they were still here. They didn't leave the property until 6 p.m. They had stuff in their bedrooms until that time. Um, our removers in the meantime had to go to another job so they put all of our stuff in this small conservatory area that was all we had at first they just piled all our stuff in there there's boxes everywhere um, and we were just waiting for her to get out really so that we could start um, cleaning the property and moving our stuff in and yeah it was a bit of an experience so the removers came back later on and built our furniture for us and they left at 10 p.m. and eventually we could start to make our, this new house our home. But yeah, there was no empty house tour because the house was never empty because the vendors were still here. So that was a bit of a nightmare. But um, we're in now and yeah, this is the end of the second day. It's about 5 p.m. and we've spent yes all day yesterday and all day today cleaning. Um, and Rosalie and Maeve just came home. What do you think of the new house? Good. This is the first time they've seen it. You like it? Yeah. Um, we're putting the girls in a bedroom together. So you're sharing, aren't you, for the time being? Mm -hmm. And we're going to decorate Maeve's bedroom first. But yeah, it is starting to feel like a home now. It was so chaotic at first. I was like, what have we done? Um, and waking up this morning, I even had that feeling, to be honest. <laughs> but We've spent a whole another day cleaning the property and yeah, I kind of feel like it's becoming our home now. Um, I am gonna film a tour of what it's like now. So I will do that in a separate video, but if you wanna see that, go and check out our not so empty home tour and then you can have a look around the house. Good morning, so today it is Monday. So it is six days after we moved in and we are kind of, Getting back to normal life now. The girls are back in school. Well, they were back last week, but Nick's gone back to work. I had to do the school run on my own today. And yeah, I'm just finding out how I'm gonna work in the new house, how we're gonna do the school run. And yeah, at the moment we are having to travel to school because the girls are still going to their old school till they finish this term. Um, so we do have to travel in the car, which is a bit annoying because I did enjoy a walk to school. Um, but it's not for long, so we just got to get to grips with it, really. 
Um, we had a really busy day on the house yesterday. We managed to get rid of all the last of the boxes in the conservatory and we also deep cleaned the conservatory and set up a little like living area, see eating, eating, sitting area in the conservatory so we can use that now. That's another usable space now and it's just made the room feel so much bigger. Um, I'm also drying my washing in there <laughs> because it's really hot in our conservatory. But um, I thought I'd just give you a little tour and show you the changes we've made down here. So. so this is how the conservatory is looking now. This is obviously just all our old furniture just repurposed in here. That is our garden so far. Um, but yeah, it looks quite cute in here. The, we had our breakfast there this morning, it was very nice. And then over here to the kitchen, I've put all our stuff out now. So we've got our coffee machine, kettle, this is um, a little tester because I'd love to get splashback that is black marble. So I was just testing to see what it looks like, but I think they'll look really nice in there. And then panning round to our new toaster. This is an Ace Cool toaster. Our old one broke about a week before we moved, so we waited um, to use this one in the new house and it's so nice. I think it looks really good with the sleek uh, stainless steel design. It goes with all our new appliances and our dishwasher is also stainless steel as well so i think it looks really nice in here and the best feature is that it has a reheat button because i'm forever putting my toast in and then not getting back to it when it pops and this little reheat function is so handy we always used to put our toaster away in the old house but i'm really loving having it out on the side because it's something we use like every day it's been invaluable while we've been moving and sorting things out with the house because it means that we can make a quick and tasty easy lunch or dinner by having beans on toast or some other spread on toast but yeah it's been really handy and i'm loving using this new appliance coming round into the living room this is pretty much the same setup we had in the old house we've still got a few boxes to unpack pictures and things um, but we put a few pictures on the wall just on the hooks that were already there because that'll do for now but our sofa is all set up it's the same sofa we had before we hope to get three sofas in here like one along here one across the back and one round there but that will be a later job um yeah we've got lots to pay for now we've moved in and I also wanted to show you our Ace Cool air purifier. Now, I don't know if you remember, but before we moved in, we had some allergy testing done on Maeve and she is allergic to pet dander. And the previous owners had two black Labradors, which has not been great for Maeve's allergies, but we have been giving her medicine every day and she's coping really well with it. But also to help with that, we got this Ace Cool air purifier. So this air purifier cleans the air all around. It reduces odors, reduces smoke, traps allergens, fights germs, traps air dust and removes pet dander. So this is perfect if you're moving into a new house and you want it to smell nice and fresh, but also you have things like pet dander and allergens in the air that you need to get rid of, which is why we're using it. Um, but so far it's proved really helpful. It has this handy display as well, so it tells you the room temperature and the humidity. And yeah, it's been a very welcome addition to this room. Which brings me to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching our moving vlog and seeing how we've settled into the new home. It is really beginning to feel like home now. When we first moved in, I did doubt my life choices and wonder what we'd done, but now we've cleaned it all and we've set up our furniture, it is really beginning to feel like home. And I just feel so lucky to live here. We have a beautiful garden, um, which we are also starting to renovate. So if you want to see how we renovate the garden, then please do subscribe to my channel, click the little bell so that you get notifications whenever I post new videos. And yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing this journey with you. The Ace Cool products have been such a welcome addition to our home and they have made our move run a lot more smoother. Having the air purifier going straight away has made the transition for Maeve with her allergies um, a lot easier. And also having a toaster available that we could just plug in straight away and know that we've got an easy lunch or easy dinner on hand has been a godsend really. So please do like this video if you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.